for my friend. Super cute. I do for y'all. New bag, new jacket. We're walking about 25 minutes to this bus to take me to Woodbury Commons. It's currently Friday. We're gonna see how it goes. Well, come along. See, we are on Madison Avenue. Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, to a car. Very... What you know about to talk about 24 hours? So now we are here. It was about in like an hour and 20 minute drive. I need a lint roller. I forgot when I bought this Ritzy jacket. It was on the floor instead of the lint rolling. But we are here. It's kind of a gloomy day. Like the parking lot's not busy at all, but it looks like it's gonna be a good shopping trip. So let's go ahead and go in and see what's up. Every store, there's socks, market. We're gonna start at Socks on Fifth and just kind of work our way there. I feel like this one would have good stuff. Let's see what they have in my size. In size 9, they have these, which are 200. Zimmerman. Got a lot of really good things. I have a fur lull or piana. Today is not a pretty day at all. Today is definitely a gloomy day. But I'm technically here for a while. I'm here till 6 or 5. So I definitely have like seven hours of shopping. So I'm going to go ahead and start at St. Laurent because that's where I want to start at. And St. Laurent is the first stop. Go into Gucci and see what they have here. Madhouse in here, it's not even 10, it's super packed. Just to get this for my friend.
so I'm using the Ray-Ban camera glasses to record footage. Um, I would say the, the shoes at Gucci are always well priced. Like all the sneakers were about like three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. Um, the outlet price that goes in are about fifty percent off. Those sides were one hundred and fifteen dollars. Like all the sides were under one hundred and fifty dollars. Like they were really good and they had a lot of sizes. Um, perfect for the summer literally right around the corner i feel like these type of shoes do don't really sell up north i would assume because i feel like the floor is more dirty versus here in texas you know everybody drives so you can kind of wear more sandals like that then they had some armont bags um this gucci one and then that other disgusting one that we're not going to talk about because we don't wear that brand anymore and this is all special price uh gucci ready to wear that they had Next stop is gonna be Maj and Sandro. So let's see what they have. But there's so many stores that I have never been to the outlet styles or I haven't been in a long time. But there are literally stores for days, literally. I love this because it's like Sergio's secret. This is so cute. So stinking cute. Okay, now this is super cute. I love it. I think it's so cute. We have a Joe Sander, a Zimmerman. Let's go into Burberry. It's true. There's a golden pool.
we are going to Aritzia. I've never been to an Aritzia outlet, so this will definitely be very interesting to see what we will find. So then we're at Aritzia. Aritzia had a lot of good deals. They had a lot of selection of clothing. I will say some of the clothes looks like it's been there for like over four or five years. Like some of the styles look super dated or clothes that I've never seen before. Like that plaid, that looks like it's from four or five years ago. It doesn't look any current. There was things that I that I literally have bought in within the last month that were there. Like the black blazer, the brown bla beige blazer was there. Um, they definitely had a lot of good deals. I think the prices were priced pretty well. 57. And then this rack of Gany was like 60% off whatever price it was. Gany actually had some pretty good prices. There was only one lady working there and she was really, really nice and super, super sweet. Like she was showing me things. She was telling me about the brand. This was kind of my first in purchase at Gany because I normally buy things through like Farfetch or like Nordstrom. So they were taking care of me really, really well. This shirt was cute, but... I usually text my friends their opinions for things and they didn't like it. I love the sweatshirt. I love the slit on the side. Uh, it was only 30% off, but I knew that I, the amount of wear that I was going to get. So that's why I was like, oh, this is an automatic cop. I had a gift card to Starbucks, so don't kill me for it. I love this little beanie. I thought it was super, super cute. <laughs> This is cute too. And 77. So they have those boots 75 for the smaller ones and then six, 75 for the big ones. They're cute, but I wouldn't recently wear them. These are cute. And this is me trying on the sweatshirt with the shorts. I don't know how I feel. I wish they were sweatpants. I did try on the sweatpants, but they ended up just being a little bit too large. I love this two-piece set. The sweatpant was a large, but I wish they had a size medium or small. I would have definitely picked it up, but they just didn't have my size. I was definitely sagging in these streets in these sweatpants, but it was super cute. Butcher was a good choice. Um, just because I, I always wear my Nina Bean ones, and I know I'm going to wear this one a lot. So all these shoes, those were like 75 bucks. All the shoes that I'm showing you right here were additional 70% off the outlet price. So they were about half off plus 70% off. Like, those were uh, 150 Those ones were $120. When I tell you Versace was not playing with them deals, 425 plus 70% off. Even all the tacones, all those were like... 750 plus 70 percent off i cannot emphasize these sandals were only 75 dollars like i cannot believe that
So I got slides. I got one for my best friend, one for my cousin, and one for my cousin's girlfriend. I was I was going to get one for myself, but honestly, I know myself too well that I really wasn't going to use it. Let's go to the CCO. Let's see what they have. And they have a lot of fragrances. Carolina. I do want to go to Isabel Marant next. They were really nice to Selena. I will say, y'all, like every every store here, well, people in New York are actually really nice. People always say, oh, people up north are not have hospitality. But I think everybody is super nice. Up. Bottega had good some good stuff that because I was still 2000 it's a good price though but next stop I want to go into Isabel Marat and I think I am going to go back and get that mosh set because I think it's really 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 pretty David you remember we do have one in Houston but let's see what the deals are in Isabel Marat and then New Smuckles, that's a jacket brand that I really wasn't familiar about, but I see it a whole lot here in New York. <laughs> they like my bags. This is one I just had a small section of sale. Off white. On lunch, we'll be back at 3.30. This huge, even have McDonald's, the Pinkberry. Chipotle, they don't have those like in San Marcos for the Dallas back in Texas. They don't have anything like that. Philip Fine, Reformation. The Reformation, I remember in California didn't have good stuff. But next up is going to be Longstrom doesn't have that many good deals. They find like a North Schmack or like the uh, Michael Kors. I ended up getting the mosh set up. I am obsessed with it. Obsessed. There's a poochie. Let's pop it in here real quick.
then there's Acne and Loewe. Let's go to Acne Studios first. Let's see what they're all about. Deal these diesel jackets additional 60. So be you for a 120 something. Hoodie for successful living. This one's cute in this terry cloth. Denim shirt. Oh my god, there's even like a little Kendra Scott store. That's crazy. That there's like more outlets there that wrap around like the parking lot, but those are more like stores that they usually have everywhere else. These kind of remind me of Bister Village. But believe it or not, the time went by so fast here. I got here around 11. It's about to be five, which is absolutely crazy. Well, I forgot my portable charger. The bus didn't pick me up at five. We need some Shake Shack. I really haven't been eating. And yeah, I'm gonna take a fat nap on the way back to New York. Oh, they even have a Lauder D, Lauder Day here as well. Now this is the end of the video so I'm gonna honestly gonna give you my thoughts and reviews of the Woodbury Commons. This video was kind of short because normally like in the San Marcos one and all the other ones the vlogs are a lot more longer. So first off to get to Woodbury Commons there is, I'll leave the website in the description box. But there's a website you pay like $40 you get there in the morning and then it picks you up at a certain time. I would have stayed there a little bit longer so if you think you're you know like you get there at 10 get there 11 11 to 5 that's not a big window a lot of people did bring like luggage and stuff um and people were super early to ride at the bus and like once it was five like at 4 58 people the bus already was already leaving so you definitely have to be there a few minutes early um i think maybe because i went in the beginning of february early late january maybe that's why the selection wasn't as great 
I'm, I did like everything that I bought. All the Versace items that I tried on and that I showed were an additional 70 off the outlet price. So that was pretty good. Um, I feel like Gucci and YSL were definitely picked over. The St. Laurent Boutique was a little bit small. Uh, I definitely prefer all the other ones that I've been to. The one in LA, the one in Texas, and the one in Florida are a lot better. Um, maybe because it's New York and it's more international than, let's say, Florida or Texas. I would definitely say that the selection wasn't as great. It wasn't the best. I find that you can find better deals in the city, like at the Rack or Saks Off Fifth or during sample sale season or even back home here in Texas. It just honestly depends what you're looking for. Like if you wanted a sell Dior bag, you could find one for like 30% off. But it just honestly really depends what you're looking for and what you're looking to buy. But for me, I would rate it maybe like a 6 out of 10. I did like going because I did experience going there for the first time. But maybe next time when I'm in the city, I may go when it's a different type of month. But if I were to go back again around January, February or March, I would definitely not do it. I think it's a little bit more worth it in the summertime and maybe more towards holiday or more during a three-day weekend. But it was okay. I did like it. But there are more vlogs to go. We did go to Century 21, which we did find a lot of nice things. And we still have Bloomingdale shopping and a lot more shopping going on. But let me know what your thoughts and your experience is when you go to Woodbury Commons. I found last month when I went to San Marcos, I found a lot more things, a lot, lot more things than I did here. So I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button. I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys and take care.